All right, you guys, so do check out how to create this uh, really cool 3D background effect here in After Effects. All right, so let's create a new composition, uh, rename it, and here I'm gonna go to the preset and select 1080p 2997 frame per second. Duration, I'm gonna go with 15 seconds, black background, click OK. Now let's go to the layers and right click here, go to new and select solid, uh, rename it however you like. This is gonna be the effect, by the way, and click OK. And let's go to the effects and presets, type in turbulent noise, drag and drop it on the effects layer. Now let's go to transform, open it up. Here we got the scale and here we can increase the size of it. Also, let's go to the contrast. I'm going to go with 600. Also, let's go to the complexity and decrease it to one. Now let's go back to effects and presets, type in a wave warp, drag and drop the wave warp under the turbulent noise. And here I'm going to go to the wave height. I'm going to increase it with 70, wave width 140, and the direction I'm going to go with 45. And I'm also going to go here to the layer, press the letter S for scale, and scale it up until it's going to fit the comp. Now let's go and animate the turbulent noise, and we're going to go here to the evolution, and I'm going to activate the stopwatch. I'm going to bring it somewhere here and I'm going to go type in here one. So it's going to rotate at 360 degree angles. I'm going to press the letter U on this layer. So it's going to highlight the keyframes and I'm also going to animate the transform rotation. I'm going to bring this back at the beginning. I was, and we're also going to need to animate the rotation and the transform, activate the stopwatch. And I'm going to bring it here back to the second keyframe. And I'm going to repeat the same step. I'm going to rotate at 360 degree angles. I'm going to type in one. Now it might be too much. I'm going to press the letter U. So it's going to highlight also these keyframes. And I'm going to select both keyframes and I'm just going to bring them out all the way. So if you hit play, it is going to look something like this. I'm also going to bring the work area somewhere at the fourth second. So I'm going to work only with four seconds. And I also want to decrease these white areas here, which are burned out. So I'm going to go to the effects and preset, type in curves and drag and drop the curves under the wave warp. And here I'm gonna bring this part down. So now the white spots are gonna be like light gray. Now let's go back to the effects and presets, type in CC ball action, and drag and drop the CC ball action under the curves. There you go. So now I'm gonna go to the grid spacing and I'm gonna decrease it to one ball size. I'm gonna go with like 45. And then not but least, I'm gonna go here to the displays. And I'm going to increase it and check this out. It is going to push it in perspective. I'm going to try it out with 40. And then you also can manipulate this with the curves. So if you increase or decrease the contrast, it is going to change its profile. And I'm going to bring it back, hit play. And this is how I make this really cool spectrum effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.